Right, boys and girls, I am back at Into Moto in Warrington, and the good news is the Benelli TRK702 is now available in the shops. So what they've got today is the 702, the standard model. They've also got a 702X. So we'll go through both of those bikes. We'll have a look at facts and figures, and then I'll take one out for a test ride. So we've got the road and the more off-road bias one. So we'll just have a look around both bikes. I'll show you the differences. There's a bit of an off wrong at the minute. So if you are very quick and you've got to be quick, they are coming with the full luggage set up on them. So you're talking top box and your side panniers as well. And it looks like the real deal as well, the uh, aluminium looking stuff. Um, by all accounts, it's about 1,500 quid. So the first batch of these bikes that go out are going to get this luggage on for free. And they do look really nice. So you've got to be quick or you'll miss out or you'll end up having to pay the 1,500 yourself. And if you're getting something like this, you want to be able to take it on tour, don't you? So be quick. Anyway, let's have a look round. So if you have a look at this one, I think... It is a massive improvement on the TRK 502. The 502 was nice, but when you look at them together, this just has a more premium feel to it. I believe the seat is a little bit lower. The bike itself looks a little bit slimmer as well, yet you've got a bigger engine, more power. Very, very nice. So it's got a chain drive, twin disc brakes at the front, single disc brake at the back. The exhaust, very similar to the BMW GS double thing coming out the back. But you know, if you're going to make it like something, making it like a BMW GS is actually a good way to go because we all know how good those bikes are. The seat is nice and comfortable. You've got a nice rear seat as well for your pillion passenger with some decent grab handles. Yeah, proper grab handle there for your passenger. And the security as well, as I've already mentioned, these now are for a limited time only are coming with your luggage. So if you've got a top box on as well, I know a lot of pillion riders prefer having a top box on the back. Makes them feel a little bit more secure obviously got the road bias tires same with the wheels more road bias this one knuckle guards as well they feel quite substantial actually they're not just the cheap plastic ones they feel like they will offer a bit of protection to your levers there as well should the worst happen buttons wise we've got quite a bit going on on this bike so you've got your industry standard with your your horn indicators high low beam in your pass but you've also got some menu buttons there as well which will go through your tft screen and to be fair benelli have up the game with the tft screens as well i will be completely honest with you i'm actually blown away with how good this bike looks and feels right hand side engine start We've got your hazards and we've got your engine cutoff switch. A USB and a USB-C as well, so you're going to be alright if you're thinking about adding sat-navs or mobile phone mounts or anything like that. This also has got Bluetooth connectivity as well, so your phone can connect to the screen and you can uh, interact with it by the screen. I think that is a really big step up for these bikes because they are made to tour the world, aren't they? It's a nice looking bike. That is the TRK702 done. Let's have a look at the 702X. How good does that yellow look? Just, it's really striking, isn't it, when you compare. So aesthetically, they're very, very similar looking. There are the obvious differences on this. The wheels and the tires for one. So this comes with the spoked wheels and you've got a little bit more knobbly, a bit more grip on the tyres. It's not an out and out off-road beast, but those tyres should be good for your gravel tracks, dirt roads, farm tracks, that kind of stuff. But you can, it just looks a little bit beefier. 
with the tyres. Now the discs are different on this as well. It's still got the two discs at the front for your brakes but you can see the difference don't know why but this has got all of the grooves in it as opposed to the other one which is just perfectly circular because this is the more off-road biased one it is a little bit taller so I've sat on it it's still all right for my short legs I'm surprised though just how much of a difference just having these little flashes of yellow just make to the bike make it stand out a hell of a lot more compare it with the other one the other one looks nice but it's a lot more subtle and these yellow bits just make it pop 702x comes with the side stand but also has a center stand as well your buttons on this exactly the same you still have your usb and your usb c so yep you've got that and I just have to remind you, Bluetooth connectivity, I love it. What an absolute beautiful bike it is. The yellow's definitely sold it for me. I'm going to take this out for a ride, so stay with me and we'll see how that performs. Can't wait. Let's have a look at the screen as well. Nice. That is a lovely screen. Let's have a listen to it. Standing up. Oh, now that's actually a really nice, comfortable position to stand up to. So that would be nice for a little bit of green laning. Certainly, farm tracks, gravel tracks. I think it's more than capable of doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> It's got a little bit of furry up juice in it as well, I like that. I've noticed some massive differences already between this and the 502 that I've been on previously. Vanelli's TRK 502 I found to be quite a heavy bike. This feels to be a much easier bike to manoeuvre around. It feels a lot lighter than that bike. So I'll just point out a few things on the screen as well. It does have your clock, you've got a gear indicator, you've got your miles per hour, we've got rev meters, we've got trip computers, fuel gauge as well. It's got everything that you need, USBs and USB-Cs, which a lot of new cars don't even have those. Nelly have listened to what people have said about the 502 and they've corrected it all on this. It seems like a, a slimmed down version of that bike. It just seems like they've corrected any kind of negative comment that they had about the TRK 502. Seems to have been changed on this. And I genuinely am really, really impressed with this bike. It's comfortable. It's got all of the gadgets. Show me impressed. I'll try and get some speed up to see if that windshield is going to do anything. Let's get some sneaky sneaky done. Gonna find the right gear, let's get some sneaking done. I'm doing 40 is, and I am getting quite a lot of wind in my face. So, as far as that windshield goes, I'm sure it's blocking a little bit of wind, but I'm still getting quite a lot of wind hitting me, and you'll probably hear it on the camera. This bike has exceeded my expectations, and by some margin. This has got enough power. It gives me confidence straight away. I feel like this bike is properly stuck on the floor. When it comes to the bends, it's letting me just throw it round. Seriously, seriously 
considering this bike. I see this bike as an absolute game changer for Benelli. But they just keep getting better and better and better. So if you're looking for an adventure bike, competitors for this bike is going to be like the 800 V Strom. You've got Honda's Trans Alp as well. You've got the Yamaha Tenere. You've got all of those bikes, which, you know, they are all very, very good bikes. But I can guarantee that this bike will be cheaper because it's a great bike as well. I'm actually so tempted. I am so tempted. No, I've not long got my other one. Right, but I am unbelievably tempted. This bike is that good. So if you're in the market for an adventure bike, please do not just write this one off. Go down, try and get a ride on one, whether it be into moto or any other Benelli dealers, go down and try and get a go. And you will not be disappointed. In fact, not only will you save a lot of money compared to probably the other bikes you're considering, thank me in the messages, this bike is that good. Now, I am back here. Unfortunately, I've got to give them the bike back. If you're interested, link in the description. See you later, guys and girls. Toodles.